everyone and welcome to round number eight of the Nemesis Online Racing League Championship here from Paul Ricard. And as we go now into the lobby, we're just counting down. Here we go. Seven. We're nearly ready to go into the one shot qualifying session. Just I am now just gonna get the stream up so I can see the shots and there we go but uh, I hope everyone's Sunday night their weekend has been good and I'm hoping that we have a very very good race and I'm sure for sure that this race will be better than the awful in real life Grand Prix that we have here every single year at Le Castellet because I tell you what if we have a I'll quit. I'll quit. But surely we can't. Surely there'll be more entertainment than that. And I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to this rest. As uh, we've got Skull in the chat saying hello, Nib, and hello to you. Skull, I hope you have a good race. Although I did see you playing Need for Speed earlier, so I don't think that's the best, exactly the best practice. But uh, still, I hope you hope you have a good race. As I've got King No Skill leaving the session, he was saying he was having some internet troubles a little bit earlier on, and there we go. He's he's joined back immediately, but it's not what you want. As um, I will now just quickly mention that uh, Anel Tanovic and uh, who else? Chilakilla have um, have qualifying bans after respective incidences at the Spanish Grand Prix with involving Anatanovic and Lazar the Greek, and then with Skull and Chilakilla in Canada last time out. And we'll just quickly get up the championship standings right now. As now the drivers are underway in qualifying as they head down towards the very difficult turn one. Well, I wouldn't say the turn one is oh, so difficult, but it's more the second part of the corner as we have Ayrton Spinner on board here in the Renault. Of course, it is Renault's home Grand Prix with a little bit of an aggressive corner cut, I would say, but it looks like he's gotten away scot-free there. As uh, No, never mind. He certainly hasn't as he's retired from the session as everyone's struggling for traction through turn seven. And that's a force in the Fadal Tanovic, who, of course, has qualified Ben, having a little bit of fun. But seemingly quite a lot of drivers struggling with the track limits here early on as we already have four cars who have retired from this. And I've just noticed that Chilakila and Anal Tanovic, because they haven't retired first, are now actually not going to properly serve their qualifying Ben. So that is not good whatsoever. But now, as we head down into the very fast right-hander, and once again, a, a beautiful double apex right-hander here as we now head into the last sector. We're on board here with the Ferrari of Ragno. We have several cars ahead of him. We have Maverick, who's, who's just fallen below him in, in the Mercedes. Bolt, Ed, and Addy all battling out for pole position at the moment. But it looks like Addy in the Haas is having a very good time of it at the moment as he comes through the final corner. Is he going to take pole position? He's lost the rear end. An absolute treat there. Is he going to still take pole? Yes, he is. He takes pole by just over a tenth of a second from Ed in the Mercedes. And then we have Bolt in the Renault and then followed in fourth by Maverick in the Mercedes. Very, very interesting qualifying session there. But because... People didn't retire at first. Now, suppose a qualifying ban. Chilakilla will start 11th. And Anatanovic will start 19th. So Chilakilla basically hasn't served his his, uh, his quality ban whatsoever. Um, and there we go. And, oh, I've just got a little bit of a spicy message. So let's, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look at what goes on. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, um... Yes, Skull, I've just been informed by uh, Maverick, actually, that it is going to indeed be a wet race. And that's funny, because I was just in a party with Maverick just before we started, and uh, he was saying he's, he's feeling a little bit of a wet race. And, um, and yeah, here we have it. It's going to be a wet race. And some people have qualified on the medium compounded tyres. Looking at you, 
Jay Hobson UK and Chazza. That has been a costly mistake there. As you can see, it's already teaming down as we load into the start of the race now. Well, the start at least of the session, but very good qualifying by Maverick there. That's certainly the best qualifying performance he's put in so far in his return to the league. He'll be he'll be really delighted with that. But um I wonder if there'll be any ramifications for Chiller Killer as he didn't you know get disqualified or retire from the session immediately. <laughs> so I've just got another very interesting message. Um from from the championship leader who's uh, currently playing on on a hot spot at the moment because he's he's been moving houses. But of course Bolt does have the lead of the championship. He's on 139 points, then followed by Ed on 112, and then Addy, who's on pole, of course, on 96 points. As now we're just waiting for some people to connect. And then we'll be underway, at least for the formation lap, and we've been informed by a skull in the chat that it's not fully wet, so we'll probably see the driver start on intermediate, can, uh, intermediate tyres uh, to start off with. Let's see if it does get wetter, but that remains to be seen, of course. As uh, the drivers will one day load into the, lo in, into the lobby, and that will be a grand old day. As King No Skills left the session, who seems to be having lots of connection issues so far. So, uh, I wonder if the lobby is glitched here. I don't know what on earth is going on. It wouldn't surprise me if we had some sort of uh, issue. Oh, no, I think everyone is readying up now. Lobby is bugged. And some people ready up now, like Val, Maverick, Testo. Addy, I think it might be because um, King No Skill keeps uh, leaving and joining back. Not 100% sure though. Can't just put the blame on him. Let's see what's going on. We need to restart. Yeah, we probably do actually. You're probably right, Colin. Sorry if you have that blue screen, it was just because I was checking the notifications to see what goes on. Um, if we do indeed have to restart Colin please message in the chat so that I can join the session because um, of course I don't want to be going to my blue screen all the time to check if I if I get an invite but here we go Mercia Lago's left the session I assume that we are gonna have a restart and that'll be very unfortunate because, of course, I don't think that you can just remake the grid oh so perfectly. So I'm sure that um, I'm sure that certain drivers, in particular Addy and um, let's say Maverick, won't be won't be too pleased that they're going to have to restart. And what on earth is going on here? Chaz has got a, a severe. What on earth? Yep, everyone has uh, has left the session. Now, and we're going to create a new lobby. But, um, someone make... Someone please tell Chiller Killer to, to get disqualified at turn one. So that, um, he can actually serve his qualifying ban. Look at this, everyone getting disqualified for parking in a dangerous location. Oh dear. What is going on here? Every Everyone's on dry tyres! So we still haven't got a... a lobby. Now we're gonna go watch Jay Hobson UK here. He's on, he's on the medium compound of tyres. In the wet. Let's see he, how, how he handles these conditions as he comes down towards the chicane in the middle of the straight. As uh, good to see you in the chat, Lazar, off to a good start. Yep, very good start indeed. And, um, yeah, um, do you have a screenshot of Quali? Um, 
I mean, I can go back in the stream, Val. Um, let's see. Um, if you go back like five, five and a bit minutes, Val. Um, yes. Disconnected. Fantastic. Okay. Sorry, I just need to respond to, um, to Val. As uh, he's gonna, as he's gonna have to remake the the session in the lobby. But yeah, this is uh, off to a fantastic start. And uh, if we just had uh, short qualifying, you know, it would be good, be good. <laughs> but you know, we'll have to make do with what we ha what we have here. But, but Colin, so you, you said that they need to retire straight away. Well, they need to get disqualified because other people are going to get disqualified. So they just need to cut turn one, you know? As I've just got a very, very nice message from, from Valerio. Okay, so I just need to um, go back in the stream a little bit here. I need to turn my volume off. Right. I just need to get the grid for, for Val so he can make the grid. Uh, someone tell Val that I have the rest of the grid. I'm sending it to him now. So I need to make sure I'm spectating before anything. Okay. Right. Now this is interesting because how is this going to go with um, with what was going to be a wet race? Now, how, how exactly is this going to work? This will be um, this will be very interesting, very interesting indeed. Um, no, I don't think we are. Toby. Val just gave a speech, but fuck, it was poor <laughs> Um. Alright, well, we're just going to have to sit here and wait. Um, so, yeah. We're just going to have to sit sit and wait until Val has, uh, has made the thing. But, thank, thank, thankfully, we can do this uh, custom grid. So, now we are able to have it the, uh, the proper qualifying order. But I'll be in, I'm, I'm just, I'm more interested in, 
you know, what the conditions going to be like, are we going to have the exact same, is it going to be wet, you know, because of course you don't know how the weather was going to play out in that race in particular, even though it might say a certain thing, it very often doesn't end out playing, it doesn't very often end up playing out like that, so, let's see. Let's see. Sorry that I keep go making the screen blue because I keep checking the notifications. I just want to be kept in the loop. So, um, I assume that we're nearly ready to go because most drivers are starting to ready up now. Slip and slide part two, electric boogaloo. <laughs> Well, I hope it's a slip and slide, because I was I was very excited for the for the wet race. Um, Val has got the weather on clear at the moment. Can someone let Val know that he's got the weather on clear? Can someone let know can someone let Val know that the weather is on clear? Right now, please. Everyone, unready. Unready. Look at me. I'm the one commentating this. And then I'm the one running the league. Oh, hello, Nate. How, how are you doing? Good to see you. Um, can you tell Nimbo he's, he's so fit from me? <laughs> Thank you, Nate. Not Nera. Mate, the, obviously the Dutch psycho is, is a well-fit lad. <laughs> Hang on, let me. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did Jade? Was Jet? Was was Hobson just claim it? Was Hobson just giving you credit for spotting that out there? For fuck's sake! But uh. Yeah, what a, what a, what a week. That's annoying. I, I pointed that out. I got you there. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Cold. Um, Nate, I'll probably be streaming after this. Not gonna lie. I'll probably be, uh, be streaming, so... If you want to talk to me a little bit more there, then... Then you can, you can do so. Okay, is Val gonna stop giving, giving a, a lecture? And, and get going? Because I can see that he's still, he's still speaking. There we go. Weather on dynamic. Come on, can we get started now? We've been, we've been live for how long now? Like twenty minutes, and we've had no actual proper action. As now everyone's starting to ready up as well, still giving a lecture, I suppose. Can he do it in Italian? I mean, I'm sure Val can do it in Italian, but obviously not me. <laughs> okay, Val's turned off his mic. I think the lecture is over. And I think we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Well, Val's not readied up yet, so... I don't know. Are we ready to go? What's the go? There we go. Val's ready up. So now we're finally going to go into the race. And I just need to get the grid up very quickly after I sent it to Val. Um, yes, so just recapping. We have Addy on pole, Ed in second, Bolt in third, Maverick in fourth, Ragnar in fifth, Chazra in sixth, j Hobson in UK seventh, eighth is Val, ninth is Merchilago, tenth is King No Skill, and then... From there on, um, everyone else is disqualified. But, um, because I'm pretty sure that Chiller has been moved down to second last place now, so that he actually serves his drive, well, his quali ban. You know? 
is how hopefully we load into the to the lobby successfully this time. Oh, I swear, if we had the formation lap on after I've waited 20 minutes, now I'm going to be absolutely fuming. going to be absolutely fuming. going to be absolutely fuming. As, uh, it looks like the lobby is not glitched this time. It looks like everyone has readied, or well, some people already readied up. Go on, everyone. Ready up. Ready up, 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 up. As, uh, now we just have a matter of seconds left. Um, Miraculous Sunshine, I know, that's a shame. I really wish it was a, a wet race. Who knows? There could be some weather that comes in, and then we end up having a wet race. But, we've got the formation lap on, I'm done! <laughs> I'm done! Why have we got to have the formation lap on? I've just waited 15 minutes because we're sorting out this rubbish. And now I've got to sit here and fill time during a formation lap. So you know what we'll do. We'll go through the rest of the championship standings in the meantime. I read out the, the top three earlier on. But uh, now just let me go to the Nemesis Online Racing League Twitter page, of course. Everyone should go and give that a follow if you haven't followed already. But here we go. So, of course, Bolt is in first place in the championship on 139 points. As I need to actually... Okay, there we go. I had some uh, had some issues to deal with there. But now Ed is in second place on 112 points after a dis disappointing fourth place after he had some contact up on in turn one with Bolt last time out. Addy is third on 96 points. Ragnar was 78 points. Val is 5th! Val is 5th? Blimey, he's, he's done it. He's had a pretty good championship so far, hasn't he? He's on 54 points. Now we have Chazza, who's only done 3 races, who's on 52 points and 6th. Chilikilla 7th on 44. And we have Hereford on 34. Merchilago on 33. Jay helps in UK then on 19. Maverick on 18 points. Then we have Danny Bin Lahar on 8. Also on 8 points is Dougie Afferman. Uh, Last of the Greek is on 7 points. Then we also have Ayrton Spenner on 6. Testermeister on um, 3. Skull on 2. And Lola Power on 1. As now, we're towards the end of the lap now. Indeed, yep, we're at the second to last corner. So I've done a pretty good time. I've done a pretty good job filling some time as, uh, as Ed is absolutely pushing Addy through these last couple of corners. Of course, though, they are controlled by AI at this point, as we have quite a number of cards already on the grid. But that's Testmeister and Ayrton Spenner, who are in 14th and 15th, respectively. And good to see that Chilakila is actually properly serving his his quali ban, as he is down in 17th and not up in what would be 11th or, or 10th. Now all the drivers are lining up on the grid, waiting for the five red lights to go out when the sequence is initiated. But we have some sort of glitch where Maverick is all the way on the back of the grid. What on earth is going on here? As we've got Chilliku who's got a drive through penalty for a jump start, but it looks like it's been a very good start here by the Mercedes event and he's jumped and he is a go into turn one. But let's see if the harsh driver can do anything about that. Through turn one, no he can't. The Ferrari is getting overtaken there. Ragno by Bolt as they're going side by side. It's absolute carnage. It's side by side by about three cars in the background here. As we have a red ball nearly hitting the back of the... But Ragno with a nice move there on Bolt as we have cars streaming all over the back. In the back. as I've gone the wrong way actually, which is rather unfortunate. But the Red Bull, the Alfa Romeo are going... Having a bit of a ding-dong battle here as the, as the Red Bull runs wide and the Alfa Romeo ne nearly loses his rear ring. And now Heff and Jay Hobbs and UK are engaging in some action here. As 
The Williams absolutely flying past Merchie Largo, slowing down the pitch straight. He's outbroken everyone there, and he has stayed in sixth place for the time being. But he's lost the rear end of treat there, and now he's under pressure from Val and the Alfa Romeo. And it looks like Val should have the better run, but it looks like Merchie Largo has a little bit better of a straight line speed. But Jay Hobson trying to go around the outside. His teammate is there, and Spanner has retired from the from the Grand Prix. As we have Chazza up into P3 now. Never mind, he's dead. back down to P4 as him and Bolt are having a little good battle here through the last sector. But Bolt runs wide through that corner. And that should allow Chaz to, to capitalize. Be all over the back of him in the last sector here. But Bolt seemed seeming to be struggling here. He's running a bit wide. He isn't on the greatest connection tonight. So that could be a reason why. As now the Ferrari of Chazza is looking to go past him. And indeed he does as he looks to go around the outside into turn one. Is he going to get the move done? It's not done deal yet. But Shazza around the outside. They touch wheels ever so slightly. They give each other very good racing room. But now, Chaz's teammate of Ragnar is getting involved in this as well. But he's not going to be able to do anything about it at the moment. As Chazza secures P3 in this race. But Bolt is still there. He's still trying to look, look for a move as he's trying for some sort of switch back there. But it hasn't worked out. It has not worked out whatsoever. And Ragno is in P5. But now Bolt in the slipstream of Chazza as they head down the main straight here. Is Bolt going to go for a move on up the inside of Chazza? Yes, he is. He goes for a move. And he gets the move done there. A very nice move by the championship leader in the Renault. But one thing is for sure. Chazza, he's not going to go away. He's all over the rear end. He's going to go and try and go around the outside here. As now, everyone's catching up after these guys are having a ding-dong battle. But Chaz is back up in the third place. Re-overtaking Bolt in, after the chicane. And that's a very nice move there by Chaz. A very important one. And now he needs to try. Have a pretty clean last sector. And get up through as... Ragno and Val are having a bit of a battle here. As Val trying to go clean around the outside of Ragno isn't going to quite work out. Ragno stays ahead for the time being. But it's very important to note that Val is on the soft compound of tyres. Whereas everyone else is pretty much on the medium compound of tyres. But Ragno goes very defensive there into the final corner. But he'll get away with it as Ed sets the fast like the Grand Prix. 135.9. He's flying at the moment. He has about a second lead over. Over Addy, and then it's four seconds back to Chazza, who is battling with Bolt, as these two have really been battling out this whole entire Grand Prix so far. But Bolt, once again, trying to put Chazza under pressure, but Chazza isn't exactly feeling it, at least in this part of the corner, but it looks like Bolt here should have a pretty good run, as now we have the entire midfield, basically, behind these lot now, after this, the battling that's been going on here. But we need the camera to go forward now as we have Bolt in the slipstream of the Ferrari of Chaz. Is he going to try and make the move up the inside but into the chicane? Exactly what I did last lap. Yes, he is up the inside, Chaz. But Chaz is still there on the inside. They're side by side through the chicane. And now Bolt is back into the... But Chaz, I think he has the inside line here. Yes, he does. He has the inside and he's got back ahead into P3. Up the inside. Past Bolt. And once again, Chazza just seems to be a little bit quicker in a straight line than Bolt here. And that is paying dividends for him and keeping him ahead here. But all of this battling is certainly keeping everyone else behind interested. As we have Ragno, Val, J. Hobson, UK, Hereford. All about within two, two to three seconds of these lot. As it seems like Chazza and Bolt seem to be struggling a little bit, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. The gap is 6.2 seconds after they've been constantly squabbling. But Bolt, once again, all over the back of Chazza as they head down the, the pitch straight. Bolt's going to go the long way around. Around the outside, is Chazza going to keep his nose up the inside? He decides to back out of it, does Chazza? He's going to look for some sort of switch back, but Bolt, he's gone spinning around! The championship leader has gone spinning around. He's facing the wrong way. You don't want to be looking towards a barrier, and that is a costly mistake here by Bolt, and that has put him... Pretty far down the pecking order. He is in P11 here as he's now going to try and look to get past this racing point as fast as he possibly can. It is so crucial for him that he gets past these cars. The good thing is, though, that the midfield is actually pretty close at the moment after him and Chazza were holding ev well, holding everyone up. I would, well, after Chazza and them were battling, the field wasn't separated by too much. But here we go. Bolt trying to 
make a move, but Lola Power's going to go up the inside of Mochi Largo, and three wide, that isn't going to work. Oh, and the racing point comes right across on, on Bolt there, and contact as the racing point goes spinning around. I'm not entirely sure how to look at that incident. We'll have to see what the stewards think of that, but Bolt risk, risked it, went three wide into the chicane. He got away with it, but, um, you know, Oh, as I've... Wait a minute, have I completely freaking missed this? Yes, Addy is in the lead, the Grand Prix. How on earth have I missed this? This has been so much chaos, in particular with Chazza and Bolt, that we've missed the move for the lead of the Grand Prix. I do massively, massively apologize for that. As Ed is in P2 now, and he's behind Addy, and I'm sure that Ed will be absolutely fuming with that. And he'll be looking to get past back Ed. As uh, King this girl just sent us put a message in the in the in the chat saying, "I don't know if I should be happy that I got dis dis disconnected to avoid this track." Yes, well, of course it isn't exactly the greatest track, is it? But here we go. It looks like we're going to have a move for the lead here as the Mercedes of Bolt, who oh, sorry, the Mercedes of the Bolt, Mercedes of Ed runs very wide there as they come onto the pitch onto the main straight, but Ed is going to try to go around the outside the Haas and he gets the move done into the chicane there. The Mercedes back into the lead, the Grand Prix. And I'm sure he'll be pretty pre pleased with that. I'm not entirely sure how on earth it happened. But he's back into the lead, the race. As we have Val, who's dropped down the field quite a bit. That looks like just out of turn seven. Val, he's in, down in P11. And now Bolt is all of a sudden back up into P7. He's, he's made a fairly... He's done a pretty solid recovery drive here so far as Bolt. To go back up into... To get back up into P7. But he's still quite a little bit ways behind where he was with Chazza, who uh, who seems to be still dropping back from Addy at the moment. And of course, everyone is on the exact same compound of tyres, on the medium compound of tyres here at the front of the race. So, it'll be interesting to see if Chazza is able to do something about that. But it doesn't look like it at the moment, as you can see, everyone except for everyone in the top ten, except for Hereford, are on the medium compound of tyres. As it looks like Ed just struggling a little bit there through turn one and two, but yeah, he's doing all right at the moment. I don't know. It just looks, it, from what I've seen, it looks better to be the car behind on this track, if I'm perfectly honest, because you can just save your ERS and and just wait to capitalize on any sort of mistake. And that's what I did last year around this track. I just sat behind or was very conservative with my ERS so that Chazza and I didn't battle and they went event eventuated into what was a classic race. Oh! As there was a little bit of a lock up there by Eddie who's got a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. As there was a little bit of contact there with him and Addy. But now Addy is in overtake mode. He's going to absolutely fly past into this fast right hander. He gets the move done around the outside. What a move that is by the Haas driver. He'll be absolutely thrilled with that. He's back into the lead of the French Grand Prix here at Le Castellet. Oh, was Ed outbreaks himself. I'm sure he'll be a little bit disappointed now as he has a three-second time penalty after that mistake. And that mistake where he tried to then avoid the corner cut, he locked up and cost himself some time. So a mistake there by Ed is has, has really gifted Addy the lead back, but that was a really fantastic move by Addy. But look how much more ERS Addy has compared to the Mercedes driver at the moment. He has about 50% of his ERS left, as where Ed only has about 15, and that could be a big factor playing in this battle as of the moment. As Chazza runs a little bit wide through the apex of Turn 1, and that will allow his teammate Aragno to close up to the back of him here, as he's now only a couple of tenths behind. As we've got Murchilago and Lazar the Greek battling as it looks like Murchilago has gotten past Lazar the Greek there down the pitch straight as uh, I think that might be a little bit of a corner cut there by by Lazar the Greek. I'm, I'm not sure. I, th I think I'll let, I'll let you guys figure that out. But here we go. Let's see if Ed is going to get past. He's not going to be able to get past Addy at the moment, but I think Ragno will try to make a move on his teammate here. Ragno is gaining on the main straight. Is he going to go up the inside? Yes, he is into the chicane. Is he going to get the move done? It looks like he's going to get the move done. He's cut the corner. He's got a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings. But Chazza, we've seen him be so effective on the exit of this corner in the slipstream. 
and using lots of ERS. The Ferraris are side by side into the fast flat out right hander. They're going to make it through just about a okay as Chaz are up the inside. And they're still side by side as Ragnar is trying to go around the outside. Is he going to get the move done? The Ferraris are still side by side. And now Chaz, he's. he's Got the outside line. Ragnall up the inside. They're giving each other very fair racing room here. What a move that is by Ragno! Oh my goodness gracious me. That was fantastic to see the Ferraris going side by side for that long through corners. Which you really just shouldn't be able to go side by side through. That's fantastic racing. And much respect to both of them for giving respectable racing room there. To make sure there wasn't so any contact. But now Chaz is looking to take back what is hit right. What he... Is as it goes round the outside of Ragno at turn one, but I think Ragno could be looking for some sort of switch back here, and he is indeed Ragno. I think he's going to go up the inside here. Yes, he is. He's going to launch it, and now Ragno is back up into P3 of this race. As now Chazza is going to look for some sort of mega switch back here, and Ragno hasn't exactly had the greatest run through that corner, has he? As now the battle for third once again is really heating up here. It was earlier with. It was really early on with Bolt and Chazza, but now it's the two Ferraris going hammer and tong at the moment. But we're going to look forward to what is arguably more important here as we've got Ed and Addy battling out for the lead of the Grand Prix. I don't think that Ed will be able to get past Addy at the moment, and he's not. But Chazza is back up ahead of Ragno, and let's see if Ragno can respond with anything here going into the fast right-hander. Is he able to? No, no, he's not. He just didn't have enough ERS available did Ragno and Ragno stays behind Chazza this time around through this part of the track through the final sector but let's go back forward as um, we've had some sort of glitch here that says that Maverick is in the lead of the Grand Prix which we just know is not true and there we go it's sorted itself out there's some uh, there's some sort of weird glitch there's um that ultimately screwed Maverick over in this race and it's a real shame as Ragno trying to use every little part of the track and that has not worked out for him whatsoever there is he's what looks to be having he looks looks like he's gonna have a pretty good run there at the final corner but he has not eventuated these outbreaks himself in the turn one now he's gonna lose quite a bit of time to Chazza there he'll probably lose about half a second the run through turn one is oh so important of course it was Chazza's mistake which allowed Ragno to gain on Chazza to start off this battle in the first place but now let's turn our attentions back forward as we have Ed in the Mercedes all over the back of the Haas driver here for the lead of the race on lap 9 out 27 he leaves left he leaves right which way is he gonna go Ed no matter which way he weaves is not gonna phase Addy and Addy maintains first place for the time being but Ed will be looking to get a much better exit out of this corner but it just looks like Addy has a faster car in a straight line and yes indeed he's using overtake mode he's using a higher ERS setting and that is keeping him ahead at the moment Ed in P3 here I'm not entirely totally sure what happened for him to be for him to lose the lead of the race but he is down in P3 and or P2 I should say because of course this timing glitch with Maverick is going to keep happening unfortunately as they come through the final corner here the Mercedes gaining and gaining on the Haas driver here but even with the DRS I don't think he'll be able to get past which is I'm sure going to be very frustrating for Ed because I I think Ed would feel that he's the faster driver but it's just not happening for him at the moment as now we have Jay Hobson UK and Bolt as it looks like Bolt is going to go clean around the outside of Jay Hobson UK in the Red Bull and indeed Bolt is back up in the fifth place runs a little bit wide through turn one but Jay Hobson UK won't be able to capitalize on that slight little mistake and now Bolt is up into P5 after the contact that he had earlier on in the race and he is about four and a half seconds away from fourth place Ragno and if Ragno and Chazza start battling again he could be able to close in on that but once again we're going to go on board here with Ed he's got a little bit more ERS saved up but Addy has so much more ERS saved up it really seems as if Addy's ERS management is playing a big factor in him keeping the lead this race as through the right hand up he's able to maintain oh looks like he's going to go for a move then up the inside was Ed 
but he thought he thought better of it. He knows that it's only lap 10 out of 27. There's still plenty of time left in this race to make a move. And who knows if he performs in the undercut here. He could jump in in the pit stops. But let's see what happens here. As now Ed once again closes up quite a bit through the final corner. But it looks like Addy's just got so much more ERS to use. And it looks like he's got better traction as well in that Haas. And he's just staying ahead of the Mercedes at the moment. But this timing glitch right now is uh, is super, super annoying. It must be said. As we have our first pity of the race. It's Danny Bin Lahar from 7th place. He's going to come off the medium compound tyres. And one would assume he's going to now pit onto the hard compound tyres. As uh, we just noticed here that Jay Hobbs in the UK is not is, uh, sticking with Bolt here. Which is nice to see. He's having a good race as the Red Bull driver up in P6. And I must say that that helmet design does look pretty neat. So, there you go. There you go, Jay Hobson. You've, you've got a nice helmet, lad. But, um, I'll just read the chat in a moment. It's Jay Hobson UK just staying behind for the time big. Oh, and here we go. Head up the inside of Addy. Is he going to get the move done? No, they both run extremely, extremely wide. And Ed isn't able to get the move done. I thought he was for a second there. Oh, as he tags the back of Addy. That's not what you want to be doing. That's not what you want to be doing whatsoever. But um, ever since Ragdo made that little slight mistake at turn one, Chaz has really started to pull an advantage out on him. He now has a three-second lead on his teammate. And now Chazza is going to come into the pit lane. Is he going to get slowed down in time? Yes, he is. As Chazza pits from third place in this race. And let's see what tyres he decides to go on now. As here we go. We're going to resume in the battle between Ed and Addy. Ed just seemingly can't get past the Haas at the moment. This is going to be so frustrating. So, so frustrating now. As they come through what is... Turn 7, I think it is. Turn 6. No, this is turn 6. That's turn 6. And now the left-hander is turn 7. That's right. I'm all, everything's starting to come back to me. Of course, the little boards do help. But now, with the DRS and with the overtake mode, it looks finally like the Mercedes driver is going to get past. He's going to make the move up the inside on the harsh driver into the chicane as Ed... Gets the move done in to lead the race. And Addy has fallen behind. But oh, Ed has lost the rear end of treat there. Throwed away the move that he just made. As now Eddie is back in the lead of the race. Ed has made a mistake there. And that's cost him to lead the race. And now, if Ed wasn't raging before and frustrated. I'm, I'm sure that he's going to be even more frustrated right about now. Because that is not what you want to be doing. But... Bolt is making some solid progress here on Ragno, who seems to be struggling a little bit on his tyres. He's now only three and a half seconds behind the Ferrari driver. With, with all the pit stops incoming, he'll be looking to make advantage of that for sure. As Ed now pits from the lead of the race, or well, from second place, I should say. He should be in the lead of the race, but his mistake cost him here as he comes onto the hard compound of tyres now. As we also have third place Ragnar coming into the pits. Let's see if Chaz's undercut has worked out. And also we have Bolt and Jay Hobson UK. He's got a five second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. That is unfortunate for the Red Bull driver. And Ragnar being held for what looks like a five second stop go penalty there. As our bolt is certainly closed up on him, I think. A little bit more there. He just comes out ahead. But let's see where Chazza comes out. Chazza's going to come out comfortably ahead of his teammate on the on these medium compound tyres. Now, of course, Chazza did have a pretty sizable lead over his teammate. And now that has been extended to about six seconds there. So there you go. But Bolt has also closed this... At close this is now he's always oh, got three second time penalty for multiple warnings that's not what you want but he's closed this gap to Ragno now it's only about two seconds I know in on the entry to the uh, to the pit lane he's done a fantastic job there to close that gap as he will now be looking to close in on Ragno and Jay Hobson UK has actually lost quite a bit of time in the pit stop there he's one and a half seconds behind 
the Renault driver now went, as we could see, when we seen them come to the pit lane, that uh, it was quite significantly closer than that. But I think all of our attention has to be now on the pit stop of the Haas driver as he pits from the lead of the race. Let's see if the undercut of Ed has worked. And, oh, let's see if the overcut of the Haas driver as he has worked as he now comes into his pit box. He's going to go into medium compound of tyres. Everything smooth sailing for the Haas, dri Haas driver there in the pits. Now, let's see where Ed is. Ed is just coming through the final corner now. He runs a little bit wide. That's certainly going to cost him time here. And let's see. Addy is just coming out of the pit lane now. Here comes Ed at full speed. And it looks like the Addy is going to maintain the lead the race after performing the overcut. Fantastic lap that was by Addy to maintain the lead. And I've just only noticed now... Drivers are on the soft compound of tyres, whereas Chazza and Ragno and Bolt are all on the medium compound of tyres. So this is going to add an extra element of spice into what is going to be an exciting and enthralling final stages of this Grand Prix. We've only just gone through half race distance. But look at this. Bolt has closed that gap on Ragno already. Bolt is absolutely flying here as he's looking to set up a nice, beautiful run through turn six and then through turn seven onto the main straight here. He's trying to get this move on the Ferrari done. And here we go. He's gonna, I'm sure he's going to turn up his ZRS up into overtake mode. He's getting on the Ferrari like an absolute torpedo. And Bolt is up into P5 in this race now. As he just about get, gets the car stopped on Ragnar here. But Ragnar does have quite a bit of ERS left. And Ragnar, forget overtake. He's put it up into hot light mode. But it looks like Bolt has got, just got enough ERS to save it all oh, as Ragnos run very wide there. I think that he was hoping. Oh, and Bolt, with, Bolt and Ragnar with differing ways to take that corner have really cost each other some time there. But Ragno now trying to pounce at any opportunity that he gets. Bolt runs wide there. And that's that's going to surely present the perfect opportunity for Ragno. But he himself doesn't have exactly the greatest run on Bolt. And Bolt has secured this P5 position for the moment. And now... But we'd be looking to close in on Chazza, who was about seven seconds up the road. And who knows? I think that Bolt could even get on the podium at this rate because he is absolutely flying. And these guys up in first and second are on a different strategy to everyone else. So that is absolutely massive. Oh, uh, of course, it's, it's a glitch. It's a glitch. It's a glitch. I wish you could see how uh, disappointed I am right now. So there you go. Bolt might, might not quite be on for a podium, but he certainly has to keep his eyes in his mirrors at the moment as Ragnar is gaining ever so slightly as they come down the main straight here. But looks like Bolt has made that P4 pretty safe. He's done a really fantastic job on both sides of the pit stop window here to gain on Ragno and then to close on Ragno and get the move done and it looks like Bolt is starting to pull away here as Ragno might, might have to turn his attentions further back here to J Hobson UK and running wide off the track certainly isn't going to help Ragno but he seems to be pretty quick through this part of the track here this is where he overtook Chazza so so brilliantly and indeed it looks like Ragno is very quick through this final part of the track so I wouldn't count Ragno out here on Bolt. If he can just put together a couple of good laps and close in on Bolt, I think he could be well within this battle. But a mistake there where he runs a little bit too deep into the final corner. I think it's cost him a little bit of time there. And he might be with it. At, might be just outside the one second window. No, he's got DRS. So Ragno, as long as he can keep DRS, I still think that he can stick here with Bolt. He's fast enough through the, through the corners to stay with Bolt. I think Bolt's actually made a little bit of a mistake there through turn one. And now Ragno is right up back behind Bolt here. And this is not what Bolt wants to be doing. Bolt wants to be trying to get after Chazza if he possibly can. I mean, closing a seven second gap on Chazza would be very, very difficult. But, you know, I wouldn't put it past him at the moment. He seems like a man on a mission. As we have lots of people cheering him on, cheering him on in the chat. We have Callum J. Spencer... We have Jake Marsh, who's always here in the chat. Nice to see you all here. 
Oh, as Colin's been... Colin has said that he's had two illegal overtakes on Mav, and I'm nowhere near him. Yeah, I think Maverick is glitched in this lobby. Because if you look back at the start of the race, he started all the way back, like, in in 20th or something. So, that is not good whatsoever. As Ragno's running extremely wide here. Through the final sector here. And, of course, both of these drivers, I believe, do have some penalties, but... I'm not sure how many. I know, I think Bolt has about six seconds worth of penalties. I'm not sure about Ragno, but Ragno does seem very, very quick through this final sector. And let's see if he can close down on this main straight as the Toro Rosso of Skull gets out the way. He helps his Team Black Diamond teammate in getting out the way. But Bolt seemingly having a very good run there through turn one and two. And it looks like he's extending that gap out to Ragno. Bolt will be just giving everything he's got to try and get this one second gap to Ragnar, but Ragnar very fast in th through the corners, it must be said. But now, as you hear his car hitting the bottom of that curb, that certainly isn't going to help, but he's, he's closed the gap here by a couple of tenths in the first sector, it's Ragnar. And now with the DRS, if he can just save his ERS up for a couple of laps... He maybe he might then just be able to launch an attack on Bolt because it is so easy to just screw up your line through turn one and two. And speaking of screwing up your lines, that's not what you want to be doing on the exit of the chicane, where of course now you're going to be flat out for quite some time. Ragno with a mistake there, and he's outside of the one second window now. As we have Mercedes, oh my goodness gracious me, as we nearly come back on to Ed, and that would have been absolute disaster. I. I don't think that is gravel on the left-hand side. It's just coloured grey tarmac. But, oh my goodness gracious me, I thought that Ed was going to be going spinning around there. As Ed, I just came came on board here because Ed had started to close the gap now. As Bolt has got that one second window here to Ragno now. But let's see if Ed now, on lap 18 out of 27, can try to make some advances on Addy and ignore the actual tyre colours on the actual game, on their car. They are both on pounded tyres. Trust me, I got very excited. But sadly, it is not the case as they are both on the hard compound of tyre. But now Ed, with the DRS, he does not have much ERS whatsoever. He's running very low. But Ragno is closed up once again. As he, I did notice he got a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings here. So both drivers... Certainly have some penalties here, but Bolt running a little bit wide over that curb there. Now, Ragno, it's got the DRS once more. But he is not using any ERS, really, to get to get as he breaks super, super late. Nearly crashes into the back of Bolt. But now, Bolt, as he broke a little bit late, he's got a much better run out of the chicane. And that has really helped him as... Ed's um, fourth gear is uh, is being very awful at the moment. I've noticed that that is just a sound, unfortunately, that we have to deal with from time to time. As I will try to fix it, but it doesn't look like it can be fixed at the moment. So we'll just have to keep flicking through everyone else at the moment. But it looks like Bolt there struggling with a little bit on that exit curb. He went a little bit wide there. So come through the final couple of corners now. And Ragno really pushing the gearing to try and get as much turn into the corner as he possibly can. But Ragno certainly isn't going away here. Ragno is going to stick with Bolt here for the whole, well, for the rest of the race, you would assume. But we did see in the first stint that he did start to drop away from Chazza after a certain point in the stint. He might start to struggle with his tyres. But here we go. Ed has got the DRS. He isn't using any ERS, though. It must be said as they come into the chicane now on the main straight. But Ed just trying to get his car well enough to try for a move. But we can't go on board with him, unfortunately, because, well, the that audio glitch is, is uh, pretty awful. But Ed... Is he going to try and go up the inside of Addy here? No, not quite enough. He, his car just washes out to the outside line right behind Addy. He wasn't able to get the move up the inside there. As he stays behind, he's going to be so, so frustrated. He's been stuck behind Addy 
for some time, but Addy has done very well to, to stay ahead, of course. You have to give credit to the driver who does stay ahead, but Ragno is still sticking with Bolt here. He's all, he's being a pest. He's being a pest is Ragno, and he just won't go away. But one thing is for sure, I don't think that that um, Bolt will be able to catch Chazza here. But Bolt, after um, after some contact earlier on in the race, I'm sure he'll be very happy with a P4, and especially considering he's playing. Um, well, in not the best circumstances at the moment with his internet. So, let's see if the Renault driver can hang on to this P4 from Ragno. Of course, our championship leader. And I'm sure he'll be hoping that Ed can be kept at bay here by Addy for the lead of the race. And so, hello to Jack in the chat. Nice to see you here, mate. Thanks for tuning in. As we still can't go on board with Ed, who's run a little bit wide on the exit of that chicane there, going over the exit curbs. It's cost him a little bit of time, but not too much in, in reality to Addy. So you have a beautiful camera angle here of the Haas driver coming through these fast sweeping right-handers in the final sector. But now, just as we are saying that Ragnar is being a pest, he has dropped well outside that one second window and I think at this track DRS is so so important with the massive massive straights that you do have around this track so Regno will be working oh so hard now to get back within that one second DRS window let's see if he can do it or not here there's either crowd I don't know what on earth they're making all that noise for but they are nonetheless but now Ed, I'm gonna sadly we're still having that sound that sound bug with his gearbox just absolutely maxing out in whatever gear he's in. You can see here even on the um on the display here where it shows his gearing. And even off board now it's showing it. So that is unfortunate. Let's see if it's fixed. No, it is not, as we have the Tor Rosso Scalp moving out the way very well there. As Ed now closing on Addy in the chicane once more, but looks like Addy is going to have a better run out of the chicane than him. So uh, Hefford now has got three second time penalty for multiple warnings. He certainly, so, certainly not the first, and he won't be the last to get a penalty in this race. As um, there's some action down the. Well, if that's actually a real move, because of course Maverick's car is all bugged out. Is, uh, the, I think that was Lasso the Greek there who got out the way of the leaders oh so well. <laughs> but now Ragnos dropped two seconds behind Bolt and as we were saying, it looks like the further we go into the stint, Ragnos' performance does just tend to drop off. I'm not sure if he's overheating the tyres. I'm not sure if that is exactly an issue on this game like it was on the previous version of the game around this track. But Ragno. He's just about two seconds behind Bolt here at the moment. As now, I think we're just going to be watching these two for the remaining of the race. For the remain, for the rem yeah, I said I said that right. I can't. I can, I'm struggling to English at the moment. I, I, I won't lie. I won't lie. But Ed, he's this is the closest he's been through turn six and turn seven here. And let's see if he can finally use a little bit of VRS and some DRS. To get the move done on the Haas driver. The Haas driver is going defensive already. But already back to the outside line. For the optimal breaking point. And let's see. He's going to stay ahead through the chicane. But one thing that has been plaguing the Mercedes. He's been having quite a poor run out of the chicane. And that stopped him from having any chance of making a move. Down this second straight. And it doesn't look like he's going to get. Once again. Is the Mercedes driver. It looks like it's going to have to be quite a desperate move. If there is going to be a move from the Mercedes driver here. As he was leading the race earlier, we're not entirely sure what caused him to lose the lead of the race. But he's giving it absolutely everything he's got here to get back into the lead this race. And hopefully the sound is fixed. No, it's not, unfortunately. It's given us an onboard camera now, so we're going to have to go 
on to Chazza, who's in P3, 11 seconds behind these guys, and 8 seconds ahead of Bolt. He is in absolute no man's land at the moment, is Chazza, but I'm sure he'll take all of those 15 points that he is going to be taking home at this current stage. But here we go. Ed, he's closer than ever. Once again, through this part of the track. Is he going to try and make a move? He could try to throw it up the inside here. Is he going to? No, he thinks better of it. He doesn't decide to do so. But now, the run out of turn 6 and turn 7 is oh so important. And that is exactly what I was talking about. That was not how you do it. He ran wide through the exit of turn 7. And that has cost him some time here to Addy. But let's just see, in comparison, you see, Addy has about 60% of his ERS. Whereas, Ed only has about 30%. So that ERS advantage for the Haas driver is really paying out at the moment. And it just looks like he's running less downforce at the moment. Because you can see that even in a normal, both of them in the same ERS setting, that Addy is pulling away, even though... Ed has the slipstream and even DRS down. So, it really does look like Ed is going to have to pull off an absolute worldie of a move to get past the Haas driver here at the moment. But the audio is still bugged, which is oh so annoying at the moment. But now we're on lap 24 of 27. Not too long left in this race. As Laz the Greek has had quite a woeful Grand Prix. It's all the way down to P15. And the Mercedes runs a little bit wide there on the exit of turn 2. And that is going to be quite costly. But Oh, as Addy's picked up a 3 second time penalty. Time penalty for multiple warnings. I'm not entirely sure about the penalty scenario here at the moment. But that could be absolutely... Massive in this battle as Ragnos just picked up a three second time penalty for multiple warnings as well as he's closing the gap to Bolt just a little bit now. <sighs> yes, indeed, Ragno is closing that gap to Bolt on this lap. Uh, last time I actually checked the gap, it was seven tenths of a second. Well, the gap was seven tenths of a second more, it was about two seconds. Now there's 1.4. Was 1.3. I went to speak. It was 1.4. So, Bolt still has to be wary. He can't make any mistakes because Ragno is there to pounce. And I'm sure, as as I mentioned earlier, that Bolt Bolt will be hoping that uh, that Ed stays behind Addy in second place here. Of course, first and second in the championship are Bolt and Ed. Once again, through the final corner, Ed now with the DRS, but just doesn't look like he's able to save enough ERS. What Ed really needs to do here is just run no ERS through the final sector to really catch up in the ERS battle here to the Haas drive up because that is the only way he's going to get past. Ed is... Ma Ed... Uh, sorry, I shouldn't say Ed. Addy has managed his ERS oh so brilliantly here in this race that it's given him this advantage over the over the Mercedes driver. He has half he has half times or two times more I should say, not half times more. That makes absolutely no sense. He has two times as more ERS than the Mercedes driver and well it's what it's what's running him at the race at the moment as we have only three laps left in the race now as all bolts now have picked up a three second time penalty for multiple warnings, so it's going to come down to penalties here, I think, between Ragnar and Bolt to see who wins this Grand Prix, oh, who wins this Grand Prix, who finishes ahead, who finishes in fourth place. As we can see, Ragnar, he is all the way back. He's dropped back a little bit more now, has Ragnar, actually. It's two and a half seconds. Oh, as we've actually had a move for the lead here. As it looks like Ed has finally got past Addy. And yes, he has indeed. And with a move in the final sector, which we just caught the back end of, Ed has finally got past. But Addy's launched it up the inside the final corner. No need to do that, lad. You're absolutely fast than him in a straight line. Just wait for a straight and now that has given Ed a little bit of a gap here. And if Addy makes a little bit of a mistake here through turn one, Ed, boom, without 
and gone. Oh, and Andy's made a mistake. He's gone spinning around. He's clipped the curb, and it's absolute disaster for the harsh driver. That is how quickly things can change in league racing. Andy was in the lead of the race. He had it. He had it there in his hands. He had the race win right there for the taking, and he's thrown it all away with a mistake there and a little lunge at the final corner there. That is oh so costly for Addy, and I don't think he'll win the race on penalties. So that means Addy at the moment is going to finish in second place. Oh dear, oh dear. As our King No Schools put hashtag dumb strict rules. Well, I disagree with you because it's all of these penalties that these drivers are getting are better than the racetrack being redesigned, as we've seen in the F2 series. So, I I completely disagree with you. You know the drivers. You know, I, I think that it can in in some circumstances it can be too strict, but I for the majority of it I don't think it is. Whenever I raced on strict, um. I, I didn't really ever have a massive issue, so, you know, it's just up to the drivers to, to do a better job, honestly. As Addy, now after that mistake, is six and a half seconds behind, and he's in no man's land, like Chazza has been the majority of the race, and even after that mistake, Chazza is five and a half seconds behind. Addy is, Chazza's actually just set the fastest lap, the Grand Prix, one... 34.4, I think that was. And he'll be very happy with that. Well, Chazza, because at the moment, of course, if you're inside the top 10 and have, get the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, you do get an extra point. So at this rate, Chazza will be picking up 16 points instead of the regular 15 points if you just finish P3 without the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. But the other battle that was causing some excitement earlier on between Bolt and Ragnar has really died down now. Ragnar has fallen off quite massively here in these final laps of the race. And he now is four and a half seconds behind Bolt. But, ooh, so, um, who was that getting past the the lapped car there? I think that, was that Chazza? Not 100% sure here, but now Ed comes through the final sector now on what is the final lap of the Grand Prix. He's running low on fuel, but I'm sure that he will be all okay. As he now comes through the sweeping left-hander, which of course is the second final corner on this racetrack. And now through the last corner, it is going to be Ed to fight back in the championship. He gets some points back on Bolt, and that could be a crucial race in the championship battle. A fantastic drive by Ed in the end. Who just wins by 56 thousandths after penalties. Oh my goodness. So that mistake by Addy has absolutely cost him the race. If he hadn't have made that mistake, he would have won the race. Oh deary, deary me. Addy will be absolutely kicking himself after that one. Ed is the winner by 56 thousandths of a second and oh dear oh dear but we have Chaz in P3 Bolt 4th, j Hobbs UK in 5th as Ragno finishes 6th after penalties that is unfortunate for Ragno or Ragno spun I didn't I didn't notice that that Ragno had spun but there you go Chiller Killer in 7th 8th Hereford, 9th Merchilago, Danny Binlhart and Testermeister in 10th and 11th as now we're just waiting for everyone else to to finish, but what a chaotic end to that race. Addy, with the mistake, he got, he got overtaken in the final sector by the Mercedes, and then made a mistake at turn one by spinning. And that is absolute disaster for Addy. His first league, his first race win in the league was beckoning and just like that it was snatched away from him but Ed once again is back up onto the top step of the podium for the first time in a wee while actually and he will be absolutely after his championship rival had what was a tough race and finished in 
P4. And indeed, this is Ed's first win in the league since... All the way back since the Chinese Grand Prix. So it's been a little bit of a dry spell for the Mercedes driver. But that win is going to be a big boost for him in the, the championship. And there you go. Addy only had one penalty. One three-second time penalty. And he loses the race by 56 thousandths of a second. As uh, Chazza says, Grazie ragazzi, grazie a tutti. Was uh, Chazar, Chazar from P6 on the grid finishes in P3. Bolt, after some troubles in this race, finish, finishes P4. J Helps in the UK finishes fifth. Ragno sixth. Kitch Chilika, we had a quality band and finishes in P7. A fantastic drive there by Chilika. Hereford in P8. Metro Lago P9. Danny Abinlahar P10. Maverick in 11th. Testemice 12th. Lola Power 13th. Val 14th. Lies of the Greek 15th. Skell 16th. And our retirees were Ed, were Ed, Altanovic and Ayrton Spinner in 17th and 18th. But that was a very, very chaotic, in the end, French Grand Prix. And I tell you what, it, it might not have been the best race of the season, but that was better than the real-life Grand Prix right there. And that means I'm not quitting. Even after we had to wait after the qualifying lobby glitch, it was still very worthwhile of everyone's time here and of course thank you to everyone who did tune in during the stream i hope you did enjoy the race and also my commentary i try to provide as much entertainment and enjoyment as possible so i hope you did enjoy but until next week of course at the same time um 7 30 a.m on a monday morning in australia 8 30 i think it's 8 30 p.m. UK time on a Sunday night, 9.30 Central East, Central European time on a Sunday night, of course. But then, until then, we'll see you all later, and I hope you have a very good rest of your week. And I hope you have a very good rest of your week.